The mountains of southwestern China are home to a rare endemic lady slipper orchid, Cypripedium flavum, a close relative of the North American species, Cypripedium reginae. This species is a calcophile, meaning that it likes a high pH, since it always lives in places where limestone is near the surface. Here in Wanglong National Park in northern Sichuan, this species literally grows on a type of limestone known as travertine. The plants thrive on small islands amongst the travertine streams, along with mosses, small shrubs, and trees. The overall appearance of the plant is very similar to C. reginae, however it tends to be smaller in stature. Flava means yellow, a direct reference to the yellow colored flowers. Vigorous plants can reach large sizes as seen in this specimen at Wanglong National Park. The overall flower color tends to be a creamy to light yellow, however near white flowers and lemon yellow flowers are known to occur as well. While most flowers are speckled or spotted with a maroon red, some are nearly clear yellow, as in this specimen. Virtually every plant I saw had a dark purple staminode, though ones with pure yellow staminodes are known to occur. While most flowers tend to be yellow dominated, some flowers have a lot of spotting on the lip and also pink purple maroon flushing and spotting on the sepals and petals, such as in this flower. Cypripedium flavum is a true alpine species, living in high mountain valleys between 2,500 and 3,500 meters elevation. Here's a nice clump growing in such a valley in northern Sichuan. In order to grow and flower properly, this species needs a fair amount of light so light shade to partially sunny conditions are required. However, as the forest develops, not only does it become shaded out, but the pH of the humus that it is growing in decreases as well, causing the plants to lose vigor. Here we see a once vigorous clump falling prey to both low soil pH and shady conditions, while another orchid species, Phaeus de la Vey, is tolerant of both. This glorious clump is growing along a mountain torrent in Wonglong Valley. Notice, however, the frost-damaged plants right next to it. We saw many hundreds of frost-damaged plants like these due to a late-season frost that hit in May. Such late-season frosts are highly unusual for this otherwise stable climate, begging the question, is this a sign of climate change or is it just a one-off event? Is this mixed colony of Cypripediums and Phaeus truly safe in this nature reserve? Only time can tell. For now we'll have to be content with the knowledge that these plants have a safe place to live, at least for the time being.